Hello, beautiful people. How are you guys doing? My name is Tim, and I am on my Draw Too Much Live channel right now, doing a live stream on Twitch and also on YouTube, as well as recording a critique. Now, basically, I'm going to start offering critiques where if you give me a donation of any amount on my Twitch, then I will be happy to critique one art piece for you. Okay, I'm really excited about that. I hope that that inspires some people. But someone did ask me to critique something, and I figure I would go ahead and do that uh, and try and help them out. It's a, it's a unique piece, and I think that we can step it up and help them out a lot, uh, and I think it'll look pretty cool once we're done. The other thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to do this in 10 minutes. This is going to be a 10-minute critique. So, we're going to jump over into my stream here, and you're going to see everyone in the chat room, and we're going to go ahead and do this critique on this piece and see if we can help out. This is for Shiny Guy, uh, and you can look him up, Shiny Guy, on uh, Twitter. That's where he got in touch with me. If you guys are interested, then you can come on over to Twitch. Simply get on here, give me a donation of any amount, and then send me over your artwork and let me know that uh, you put in that donation and we'll get this working okay so i think this will be really fun and a, and a cool critique so let's go ahead and head over now and show you my ipad and clip studio and here's the artwork that i will be critiquing and then i'm going to turn on my counter here which is 10 minute the 10 minutes and i'm going to try and critique this sucker in 10 minutes uh i think we got a real challenge ahead of us to to critique this within 10 minutes but i think that that kind of helps me <laughs> keep my head on straight because quite honestly I could talk way too long about this one I just need to keep it short for you guys all right we're ready to get this started let's do it the 10 minute clock starts right now that's going to get started here and we're going to get down to brass tacks okay or tacks of brass as as you may have heard from uh Le guardians no legends I don't know, whatever that Christmas movie is with Santa Claus and all the rest of the gang. Okay, so what I've done is I've dropped the opacity on this, and I'm going to go ahead and just start drawing over top of it. Um, we're going to take a look first off at the body anatomy. Um, like I said, this is a quick critique, so I'm going to be talking a little fast. Let's go ahead and start first with the anatomy. We know that the face is here, okay? And we know that the body comes down this way like this, and then kind of stops somewhere around here, and then the legs are going to obviously come down here and continue on to the foot, okay? Now, I'm not going to worry extremely about anatomy because I don't have enough time to worry about that. I am going to worry about helping you rebuild the structure a little bit, okay? So we're going to go ahead and start by kind of making a new um, structure in here, building out the body type, okay? And we're going to kind of try and consider where the hips are uh, and all this. And this is anatomy, which anatomy is sometimes is not my strong suit and something I'm learning out quite honestly uh, myself, but I think I have enough where I can offer a little bit of advice at least. Okay, so we have this going on here, and now we have the um, ability for the legs. I do think maybe the legs would have been a little bit longer um, for for this girl. I think they would have gone down a little bit more with the body structuring that you'd already begun, um, and then this leg can come down this way, and this can come here. And like you can see, my feet kind of come down a little bit lower. So I think you're close, but I think that the, the legs are a bit too short, okay? Uh, with the face, with the head turning a little bit. So we'll do this, and she would be kind of looking up a little, um, which I'm not trying to perfectly match that. If I try to perfectly match that, I will quickly not do that. I will quickly grab this, okay? And let me go grab this and just rotate this a little bit um, and line it up a little bit. Okay, so for the eye, I do think that it would have helped a little bit if when you did that eye, you filled it in completely. So the structuring, however you want to do the structure, that's up to you. Everyone's going to have a different art style. But I do think that filling in the eye completely in, in, in full black is going to make a big difference. So fill it in completely instead of leaving it um, unfilled and then put in your eye as you see fit. Um, and I could talk about all this quite a bit more and, and critique this down to the nth degree, but um, I'm just going to keep this light, okay? So let's say that we're happy with that. The, the face is coming like this, so if we drew the other eye, it would be somewhere over here. Um, and I'm just doing that really quick just to make sure that I'm not missing anything with the hair, and that looks fine. And then the nose is going to come down here. Um... With the nose for, for a girl, whether you're doing anime or whether you're doing whatever, um, if, if you are doing anime, usually that's just like a triangle shape of sorts. So if we were going that route, then it would be something kind of coming down 
and cutting over like this, which I'm not a fan of anime. I personally like a little bit more detail than that. Um, and admittedly, the artwork behind is confusing me a little bit. So let me drop my opacity just a bit more on that behind layer so that I can focus on the face that I have at hand here. Um, okay, how are we doing on time? we got six minutes left. So um, I think with this one, maybe the nose would kind of come this way a little bit. I'm not certain in this case. And then your mouth, if you wanted to, you draw the mouth as you see fit. And I'm doing a miserable job trying to critique how to draw the face, even though the face is kind of where I have a little bit more to offer. <laughs> uh, because I'm, I'm not used to anime style, and I know this is a bit more anime style, and I want to kind of turn this into a little bit more of a actual caricature or cartoon or whatever, and this looks far more anime than I'm going right now. So if I was to do it my way, it might look something a bit more where I'm actually putting in a real nose or whatever. Um, if we continue on the anime route or whatever, uh, your ear is going to be a little bit smaller uh, and line up with the bottom of the nose, and usually the eyelash, which you have no, uh, excuse me, eyebrow, which you don't have an eyebrow here, which means that her ear would be super huge <laughs> in this case, but I do think anime takes um, a little bit of creative license when it comes to that, so um, if we draw in the side of the face here and we do a little kind of eyebrow or whatever, we can kind of make the ear kind of small about here instead. I'd say line it up to the bottom of the nose just to play it safe. Um, I'm not going to worry about the hair. I could talk about the hand. It, it's not, gr it's not um, perfect, but you can certainly clean it up a little bit and kind of give her those dainty little fingers kind of coming out like this a little bit more and then the bottom of the hand. And hand isn't really my thing. Thank you, Brett, for your subscription. Greatly appreciate that. Four minutes and 53 seconds left. Let's get to some of the, the, the trunk area here. I think that the breasts are far too low. Uh, if you take a triangle and you draw it here, kind of like this, okay, even if she is big chested, um, right here would be where the areolas slash nipples would be, and then you would build the chest off of this. So if you were doing like an upside down heart kind of shape like that, or in uh, other proper terms, maybe two hanging, um, uh, two hanging, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, guys? Uh, balloons, like water balloons, then that would kind of balance that out. Now, if you look here, if we're thinking about the rib cage, you would kind of come off of here, and this would come down to her waist structure. Uh, in this area. Now, I could have gone a bit thicker in this area here, but you can see that there's quite a big difference in the body mass in my girl uh, in comparison to the other one. If I turn off this layer and you look, this this right here, um, this would be, let me get another layer here. So if we drew a triangle about here, uh, this would come up much higher like this. Okay, and if we do the the kind of like that. The, this would connect to the bottom of the arm here pretty much, kind of like this. Um, and then your rib cage would be here, and then it would hook up to your hip region a little bit closer. So I think that the, the, the structure of the dress would be pulled in as well uh, for that. I'm not going to worry about the dress. Uh, not going to worry about the shoe so much. Maybe this not as sharp, maybe a little bit more straight coming down into the shoe. Um, and then other than that, I mean, there's, there's other things that I could critique. I think the neck is a little big. I think the neck would probably be a little bit more slender in this area here. Um, and then, uh, you would, you know, rework your shoulders and stuff off of this new anatomy structure, uh, off of that. Um, I think if you look up some Psycho Yasin videos, he does great on anatomy. Um, I will warn you, it is not G-rated. Uh, if you are concerned, first off, if you are a concerned parent wanting to make sure that your child is seeing uh, clean stuff, then uh, you need to be careful with some of the artists that you go to. But if you are a person trying to learn anatomy properly and you're trying to learn structuring properly uh, and you want those references, Psycho Yasin is excellent. Uh, a couple of really great artists here on uh, on YouTube. And then, of course, you can also check out uh, Pinterest and get some reference photos from Pinterest. So that would be my my first couple ideas that I would suggest in your uh, in the critique. Um, and then from there, it would be little things like how long the arm is. Um, 
and that's not bad in line's arm. Maybe I would just come back just a little bit. Um, her hand is not quite gripping the, um, the, the magic wand, so I would learn how to draw uh, structure and grabbing the wand uh, properly there. Um, and then the same thing is take that same structure and take it to the other side for the other arm so you can get that line alignment just right for this hand. And learn how to draw hands uh, either in two ways. One with a square and then you can build your finger structure off of this kind of idea with a thumb coming off of there. Or I kind of like to do this for girls. I like to do a triangle and then I'll build the fingers off of this mentality here um, and then I'll build my thumb off of that. It makes it a little awkward because then you kind of kind of have to rethink a couple things, but it kind of helps you, you know, think dainty if you're working on a, on a female body and then think kind of manly uh, if you're working off of a guy's body with more of a square shape. But you can see kind of with the structuring that I'm doing here, uh, there's, there's a little bit more opportunity uh, to kind of clean things up a little bit. Uh, and you can see that to connect this right to where the collarbone would be and the neck, the neck con connecting to her face coming down over the trunk of the body uh, really has to contort inwards to make that connection. So I think that that would help you out a little bit. And I'm obviously not going to be able to continue here because we're down to the last 30 seconds of this. Um, but I hope that that was helpful to you and kind of gives you a new guide on how to do that. Thank you so much for... Um, asking me to critique your work. I hope you guys will consider to do the same. Come on over to my Twitch, make a donation, send me some artwork to critique. I'll be happy to look at it. And thank you so much for supporting me here on Twitch and on YouTube. My name is Tim Michael, and I'll see you on Draw Too Much and Draw Too Much Live. God bless you guys. I'll see you next time. And that's zero seconds. Nice.